it's the inequality for me. We supposed to be these this evolved, you should know better, do better people. Yet we still doing the old shit. And I'm not saying I expected it to happen overnight. But why is it okay to justify a 16, 17 year old girl's death in front of her own house for defending herself? It's the inequality for me. Because I saw her counterpart, a boy, literally stab a cop and walk away. He got tased, but literally stabbed the cop. It's the inequality for me. Like, George Floyd dying. Mass, massive massacre. Horribly, why are we not losing our shit over this little girl? Why, because she was about to turn 18? Who gives a shit? It's a little girl. She ain't grown. She like to think, she may like to think, she, but she not, she's 17, 16. And whatever happened before then, which I'm pretty sure all of a sudden they're going to say don't matter. She ends up dead for defending herself. There's no form of de-escalation of these girls. All of these cops, no tasers, just a gun pointed at the one with the knife, defending herself. She called you. And I was talking to an off, a detective about it today. I was talking to a, a woman who works for a, a, a DPW or DOT today about the same shit. Like, that's not okay. That's a situation you can de-escalate. You're a cop. You didn't have to shoot her. You could have just shot two in the air. You could have tased her with the knife instead of shooting her. Why do we always end up getting the bullets? Make it make sense. It, Cause it's the inequality for me. And I'm also gonna say, I'm, I'm happy that George Floyd got his verdict. I'm happy he's getting some semblance of justice that black people have been yearning for. But I'm also thoroughly disappointed because the black girl who died after him Receive less justice, less eruption for the same for for dying innocently. And now we have a little girl dying, and there are people of her own skin folk saying that it makes sense. Now, how many times has anyone been bullied, or anyone been pushed? into a corner about to be banked and you decide I'm gonna handle this like I gotta handle it. I'm gonna grab me an equalizer and it's a wrap. She grabbed a knife. One of them was about to get it. You come into this girl's house. You're coming to her house. And it's okay because she had the knife. But was, does, isn't her past just as important as to what led to that situation? If they're coming to gang up on her, it's for, it could be for a plethora of reasons. And one of them was probably she disrespected one of the group. So the whole group felt like they needed to gang up on her. Like, it could be a bunch of reasons. I don't know all of that. But that matters in this, in this whole scenario. How the hell are her own skin folk, a.k.a. kin folk, saying this is okay? She's 16. 17 years old. Like. Make it make sense. It's the inequality for me. Because the count, we've literally seen what happens to the counterpart of that same scenario. They always walk away. Not saying they need to end up dead. But they always walk away. And in some cases, treated to Burger King. In some cases, taken care of like they the fucking Queen of England. Who turns out is also a racist. Make it make sense. Please. I'm, I'm dying for someone to make it make sense.
I'm yearning for someone to make it make sense because it's it's not making sense that we justify black people being killed for their past. Yet we can't hold you accountable for yours. White people always say we're not our ancestors, but you are their descendants. So if you're going to hold us accountable for our actions and being put under the gun, maybe you should, too. Just maybe. See how you like it. Because it's the inequality for me. And the inequality is even coming from her own people. I am saying she deserved to be stopped. She did not deserve to be killed. Four shots. For defending herself. A knee on the neck for making a mistake. Pepper spray in the face for doing what you're supposed to do when you're pulled over and you're in the military. An accidental shot to the chest, but she meant to grab your taser. A big mistake to the wall when you just killed another woman. Black woman at that. It's the inequality for me. Because every scenario I've seen of the opposite of that, no one dies. It's always de-escalated. They're allowed to calm down. And then y'all wonder why black people are in such a fucking panic when it comes to black and whites and cops. Let me say that even. When it comes to colored people and cops. Because... Like, I was just talking to my father, and he, my father's 55, 56 years old, man. And he had to deal with cops pulling him over and them running because it could possibly be beaten down for no reason. There was nothing to record it back then. He wasn't walking around with no huge camcorder recording stuff. And that's the difference between... A livid generation about the bullshit that's still going on that's been happening to the past generations that didn't get to put it on video. Like the Rodney King beaten. There's a reason why he got millions for being beaten and it was recorded. It's the inequality for me. Because I'm, I'm tired. Like, And if you really look at it, it's almost saying... In a, in a weird way, it's almost saying that black men and black women or colored women and colored men are going to be in this infinite tumble between who's fucked up worse and who's superior. Which is how they keep you oppressed. If you can't figure out what they're doing, all you're going to do is look at each other and figure out, try to say what's wrong with you. Pointing the finger. Have some empathy. A pissed off angry woman who can't seem to be okay with a man treating her with respect has been through some shit. But if she snaps at him, it's okay that she'd be killed because she's a woman and they're expected to be perfect. So they, they can't act up. Oh, and if we flip that scenario, we we all know what's going to happen to the guy. We, we all know what's going to happen there. If she survives, it's jail or he's dead. Point blank period. It's the inequality for me. Between our lack of melanin counterparts and our melanin sisters. Black men, we got to stand up for something. And black women, y'all got to stand up too. There should be another, there should be another Black Lives Matter rally around the city, around the fucking world, for this sixteen-year-old girl. It should have been another one for Breonna Taylor not getting her justice, not just on the internet, because just like complaining is making people think they're doing something. So is the inequality for me? My people want to say my people, but where is my people? 
white people want to say we're allies. Where are you? Asian people want to say we're allies. Where are you? Hispanic people want to say we're allies. Where are you? And for the inverse of that, Asian hate being attacked racially. Black people, where are you? Allies, where are you? Show the fuck up. Like, I was talking to a woman from DOT today and I was telling her when George Floyd happened and there was protests and all going on, I wasn't doing nothing crazy. I made my videos, but every day for at least two to four months straight, every day at my job where I deal with nothing but government vehicles coming through getting gas, I was talking to BCPD, the detective services. I was talking to the mayor's guard because they got to come through there. I was talking to the fire department. I was talking to the water department, the waste department, the traffic department. I was talking to HABC. I was talking to the homeless services. I was talking to everyone trying to show them a positive version of a black man who was protesting without having to carry uh, a sign or walk in the street. And because I had to be conscious of COVID for my family, but I was addressing the issue at my job for four months straight throughout the whole protest. And I ended up depressed. Watching that over and over again fucks with your head. So imagine a 16 year old girl seeing another 16 year old girl killed calling for help. What makes you think she's going to do it when she needs help? And everyone has become so individual. You don't realize how much we need each other. Right now, we need each other. Empathy, compassion, love, understanding. Some people who just need to shut the fuck up and listen. How do you not see that? I don't care if this video gets monetized or not. I'm putting it out there point blank, period, because it needs to be said. Black people, we need unity. Period. We need to stand up for allies who... It's called mutual... mutual everything ain't gonna be done for us. We still got work to do. Y'all should have known that by now. We were the first put on, on Earth. We should be used to work by now. But a lot of us have become unused to it due to whatever systems of excuses or whatever you want to put in front of yourself. I get it. It's not cool, but I get it. It's the inequality for me. Because if, if someone does something for you out of the goodness of their heart for a good reason, you generally want to do something back. But no, we deserve this. It's the inequality for me. The fact that we keep... It's not okay. It's sickening. It's disgusting. And the fact that people think it's okay is the worst part. And that's, that's, it's the inequality. Like, I literally saw a white boy stab a cop. And, and somehow he managed to de-escalate him to a taser. But he stabbed the cop. That is the right for them to pull the trigger on the person assaulting them. But the person being assaulted and defending themselves ends up dead. It's the inequality for me. And it's blowing my mind. That people say it's justifiable for whatever reason, but it's never justifiable for the polar opposite of that person. It's the inequality for me. I don't see how it's okay. It does not make sense. Now, if you've been murdered someone and you on death row, 
you already in jail, you did it, death row, that, we get it. But you didn't kill anybody. You're defending yourself. And there are less people mad about this than a grown ass man who had his neck stop, held, well pressed on for nine, almost 10 minutes and had a case about it to justify how he died. And there were still people saying there was monoxide poisoning. His face was on street pavement next to a car engine. Monoxide poisoning? It's the inequality for me because I saw someone, I saw a video of a, of a white guy literally dragging a cop by the arm of the window of his truck and was driving. I'm talking probably took off from five to easy 20 miles per hour and the dude is stuck in his window. The officer holding on for dear life. An officer's job isn't easy. I get it. But why are y'all so scared of us? Do we scare you that much that y'all can't de-escalate us? You can't use a taser? You gotta kill us? And are we, is it, is it so okay for us to die so easily? Why is that okay? Make it make sense, because it's the inequality for me. I've seen this shit happen. My parents have told me their stories of dealing with this shit. Because it's the inequality for me to see the opposite of that happen. And not even half the same shit goes on. Which means everything that y'all think doesn't exist is still here. It's 2021. So the fuck what? I hate when people say that. The year has nothing to do with it. If we're going to evolve, we're going to evolve. Now I understand why the revolution will not be televised. Even though it is being televised. Which is a, a nice little, I guess, oxymoron or whatever to what's going on now. The real revolution is going to happen here. Because everyone is being forced to wake up now. Everyone. And if you choose to not wake up, that's your fault. And you're not waking up to the inequality just between what's considered the lowest of the totem pole. Let alone gender, just by what you look like. Lowest of the totem pole. Looks like me. Throw in gender and then throw in whatever other bullshit you want. The bottom is fighting amongst themselves while the top is chilling. But we're supposed to be getting together to build, right? We're supposed to be uni unifying the country, right? So, I, I, I really didn't make this channel for this. But, my skin folk are my kin folk, so... I'm going to speak on it whenever I need to. Whenever it becomes too much for me to keep in. Because instead of complaining about doing something, I'm doing something. I'm going to do something. And I'm going to do what I got to do. But it's... It's not okay. It's just not okay. It's 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 not okay. Because okay. the inequality for me... If you think it's okay, don't subscribe to me. If you think it's okay, stay away from me. And the crazier part is, like, like being black is like this love-hate with what you look like and what you do. I, I was talking to a woman today and I told her like, she asked me, was I afraid or nervous because all the cops would come through the station? And I said, no. With cops, I know what I'm going to get. But with my people, I have no clue. And then the detective left at that conversation told me it's some little boys and little it's some teenagers or little girls and little boys attacking people. So why am I be more worried about a cop when I gotta deal with my own people every day? Yes, we are part of the problem. And if you're not trying a solution, trying to find a solution, you're part of the problem. 
How does all this equate back to a 16 year old dying? She was being attacked by other 16 and other teenagers, 16, 17, 18, 14 and up or whatever. They came to her house. And she was asking for help from a cop, which means she was more worried about them than the cops. But the cops end up killing her. It's the inequality for me. I just, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. No, I do get it. And it sucks to be awake for so long because I'm starting to get tired. I'm getting really tired. And if anyone knows anything about me that knows me personally, when I get tired and I'm through with something, I'm done with it. And to all of those black and brown, beautiful girls and boys, keep your heads up. Um, Stay, keep your eyes on the prize, stay focused, be smart about your surroundings, be smart about what you do. I'm not saying be perfect, but keep your head on the swivel. Because this shit is ridiculous. I just, I don't. I feel more for the black boys I knew at the school I was working at, for the black little girls I knew at a middle school I was working at, than I do for my own life because they gotta come up in this shit. I, I don't I don't understand how it's okay. I don't. I may never understand how it's okay because killing someone unjustifiably is still killing. Even if you got a badge. And whatever law states whatever. It's still wrong. Like. Then. And my father made a very good point. Then people wonder why black people will not call the cops. And will handle the situation themselves. And watch how ugly shit gets. Watch how it turns into almost a war of a back and forth between who got who and who did what and why and what and whatever. Like, sitting back and seeing all of this, it, it, it really opens your eyes to a lot. And I just, I, I don't understand how it's okay. I, I don't understand what, what says in someone's head, it's okay because their past or, or this knife or, or this, no. I'm not justifying any form of domestic abuse. Nothing like that. I'm talking about what's going on right now in this video with Micaiah Bryant. And one of my favorite TikTokers I speak apparently is losing views because he talked about it. Breaking down the whole situation. But racism ain't real, right? Inequality, it's not real, right? Because it's all about the inequality for me. I'm not saying anyone should be killed unjustifiably. I'm saying what happens to one should happen to the other for the same reasons. And if you can't do it to the other, then you shouldn't do it to the other one. For example, I mentioned this already. If a white boy can stab a cop, but a black girl can have a weapon ready to assault someone else for attacking them and defending themselves, the girl ends up dead. The boy's still alive. It's the inequality for me. Not to mention Breonna Taylor, George Floyd. No justice, all the justice. Well, no, some justice. We don't even know how far it's going to get yet. Some justice. A wall got more justice. It's the inequality for me. And why people are saying it's okay. And why 
it's not okay for their opposites to have the same treatment. It's the inequality for me. It's the disrespect for me. It's the skin folk and kin folk for me. It's the bullshit allies for me. Every form of protest ain't gonna look like a protest. I know, I just told you I did it. But it's still the inequality for me. I'm... I'm... I didn't want this to be my first video back. I wanted to do a review and a drawing video, but I, I, this shit is it's, it's, it's festering and it's filling me up. And I'm going to go into a depression unless I get it out. Or I'm going to end up angry for a month. It's... I just don't get it. And it's hard to walk around with a smile on my face and believing I can get to my dream when shit like this is happening. It's a nice distraction. It's a real good one. To keep someone from going where they're trying to go. But I'm going to keep pushing. Unfortunately though. The little girl who may have had the same dreams. She's dead now. The grown man. Who had someone kneel on his neck like an animal who may have had the same dreams of turning his own life around to do better for his daughter. Ain't nobody, uh oh, forgot about that, huh? He has a daughter and his twin uncle's taking care of him, taking care of her if I'm not wrong, but he has a daughter and now we're watching someone else's daughter die. It's the inequality for me. And I will never understand how it's okay. Because if we apply that same logic to the whole argument behind Black Lives Matter and its ancestral poison, there are a lot of people who deserve to be hung right now. I'm just saying. Yeah, that's my phone going off, whatever. Just make it make sense for me. Because the inequality. Ooh, it's exciting. It's, ooh, you gotta have a taste for it. And the, the crazier part is, segregation wasn't that long ago. Tamir Rice wasn't that long ago. Like, a lot of this stuff happened within the last 50 to 80 years. But it's not supposed to exist anymore because we're integrated now, right? I can't tell you how many times my parents have told me they had to fight to go to school. Fight to stay in school. Fight to go home. And still have to fight to get in the house. And you still got to fight the people in your neighborhood. And they're the ones that look more like you than the ones at school. I just need someone to make it make sense because the inequality is killing me. It's the inequality for me. I just don't. Is there a wrong? Yes. No one should have been at a girl's house trying to threaten her. Cops shouldn't have pulled the gun on her. Should have pulled the taser because apparently they're trained to use both. It should have been some de-escalation to the situation. And maybe the little girl shouldn't have had a knife. But everyone knows if you're going to defend yourself, you're going to go out with a bang. And I don't mean that in any form of irony. But you're you going to go out and if you're going to go out, somebody coming with you. Everyone, when they back into a corner, 
that becomes your mindset. I'm not one of y'all coming with me. Hence the knife. And when you're being picked, when you're being picked on or ganged or ganged up on, you need something that's gonna make them think twice. I should know. I've been banked before. I've been hit in the face for nothing before. Actually, very recently. So, it's the inequality for me. From white people to black people and everyone in between. And just between the black people themselves. Specifically the genders. Because this going on makes me want to protest the way I did because it's wrong and there's less uproar about that than there is about George Floyd. He may have started the whole Black Lives Movement and that's a blessing, it's beautiful, yes. But the work ain't done, kin folk, skin folk, it's not done. It may never be done. Are we going to actually fight for it is the question. Are we going to put our own systems in place? Are we going to put our own businesses in place? Are we going to come off the individual pedestal and humble ourselves to become a community again? <laughs> oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. The, the individual then allows for inequality because you can step above your community or step on them, depending on how you look at it. It's just, it's never going to be okay for me, ever. Are there some times when it's justifiable? Yes. When it's justifiable. This scenario? No. 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 The same fear cops experience from pulling someone over is the same, same fear they experience when they see a black person with a weapon or a black person being aggressive or a black person saying something back to them like they, like all of a sudden we need to be muzzled. No. Civil servant. You're there to serve the people. Protect and serve. But it's becoming more clear who you're actually here to protect and serve. January. Raid on the Capitol. Does that ring a bell compared to the, to the entirety of 2020? It's a lot of people going quiet. So... I'm just saying all of that to say it's the, it's the inequality for me. And I, I need some equality. Because <laughs> it's sickening and it's poison. And dare I say if someone was planning a strategy around this, it's a good way of keeping an oppressed people oppressed. Because if you think about it, all we're doing on social media is perpetrating the idea that black people will be killed for everything. So why try anything? But it's just the inequality for me. I'll see you in the next video.